People on YouTube are no longer just YouTubers. They're quickly becoming business people, artists, athletes, philanthropists, and billionaires. Aside from Mr. Beast, KSI and Logan Paul are well on their way to creating something that has never been seen before with Prime Hydration. Prime is quickly separating itself from the majority of YouTube products. It's no longer just merchandise, but a mainstream and global brand that has this generation in a chokehold. So how did two former internet rivals come together to create quite possibly one of the biggest and strategic business moves in social media? This is the rise of Prime and YouTube's first billionaires. We all know who these people are, but to get a better understanding of where they are today and how Prime came to be, we need to go back to August 2018. On the 25th of August 2018, a boxing fight took place between KSI and Logan Paul. After KSI witnessed the commercial and financial success of the first ever YouTube boxing event between him and Joe Weller, he set his sights on his next victim. It couldn't just be anyone though. There had to be a few parameters when choosing his next opponent. They had to have a similar level of clout, physically match, and be someone who could play the villain. Logan was the perfect casting for this storyline of boxing events. After just coming off his Suicide Forest video in December 2017 and having done the rounds of apologies on international television and being dropped by every major brand association he had, Logan needed a way to fight for his redemption and a boxing event was the perfect opportunity. It was a win-win for everyone involved. Logan gets his shot of redemption and changing his public perception while KSI gets to push the limits of what a YouTube event can be. And at the time, for fans, they got the chance to see a guy who filmed a dead body in a suicide forest potentially get knocked the fuck out. All of these elements made the anticipation Participation for the fight unlike anything seen on the internet at the time. The fight resulted in a majority draw and fans begging for a rematch. With JJ and Logan being the entertainers that they are, the second fight took place on the 9th of November 2019 at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. KSI won the fight by a split decision. To the winner by split decision from the United Kingdom, the night Although KSI came out on top in the fight, for Logan, it wasn't necessarily an L. Because his public perception had shifted, he was no longer that incredibly annoying and dumb American kid. He fully worked on himself and became a man. Through the process of the fights, Logan gained respect and admiration of KSI and has thanked JJ on multiple occasions for saving his career. Okay, so you come to grips with that, but you still have to plot the return because it's not like- There was no plot. I got fucking lucky as shit that my British counterpart, KSI, called me out for a boxing match. Oh, oh shit. Mm. People joke. I thought people joke. They say, you know, KSI I saved your career, right? Because he, he called me out the box and it gave me an opportunity to literally start my potential redemption by fighting my way back. Yeah. Ever since the second fight, both JJ and Logan developed a friendship and mutual respect for each other, finding a lot of similarities in each other. I think it became obvious that KSI and Logan had a lot more in common than people thought when both of their younger brothers fought against each other in the second boxing event. The trajectory of their careers is very similar, but in two different worlds. They have equal reach and influence in two different continents, and have business portfolios in a wide range of markets. On the 29th of December 2021, two years after the second boxing event, JJ and Logan began to tease a mysterious serious third and final event of the saga, with an official announcement dropping on Instagram Live on the 4th of January 2022. We have a project we want to tell you about. We have created our own drink company. Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after the live video announcement, their fans found out that it wasn't a third fight, but news of a joint venture into the sports drink industry. Prime Hydration was conceptualized with Logan having conversations with US investors, settling on a partnership with the Kentucky-based consumer packaged goods company, and approaching JJ about the opportunity. I'm sure it wasn't a hard sell for JJ. Just evaluating both of their individual resources, you can understand why coming together was a good idea. They created a transatlantic product that metaphorically stretches its hands across continents, creating one of the first truly global YouTube YouTuber products operating on this scale. The duo claim that the biggest goal and mission statement of their products is taste and hydration, or as their bottle says, where function and flavor come first. Each bottle contains 10% coconut water, zero sugar, BCAAs, antioxidants, electrolytes, and zinc for immunity in five different flavor options, including blue raspberry, grape, orange, lemon and lime, and fruit punch. In an interview, Logan stated, every influencer can create any product they want. Specifically with beverages, we've seen it before, 
all. We've seen influencers attempt to make a mark in this industry and fail time and time again. With us, our demographic skews younger, 18 to 25. It's much younger than the traditional sports drink market. So we're adding incremental dollars to this category. It's interesting that Logan mentions this as well because they know as their audience grows up, so do their sales. On the 8th of January, 2022, the drink officially launched in stores and online exclusively in the US. On the launch, the demand was so high that it sold out online within four days after the announcement. On the 17th of June, 2022, Prime was officially launched in the UK, exclusively in Asda stores for initially £1.50 a bottle, but that price has since seen an increase to £2 a bottle. The deal with Asda is said to last until at least Christmas. KSI and Logan celebrated the UK launch with YouTuber Gideon on an open top bus outside of Asda with hundreds of fans. After a month of the official UK launch in Asda, on the 27th of July 2022, JJ announced a partnership with Arsenal. They announced Prime Hydration as the official hydration partner for Arsenal, which basically means you can buy it in the stadium on game day. The collab took months to pull off, and KSI apparently didn't tell any of his close friends about the deal because he loves the element of surprise, leaving them to find out via the announcement on Arsenal's Instagram feed. As well as Asda and the Emirates Stadium on game day, the drink is also available via the UK Prime website, which has restricted supplies and made it difficult to get hold of. When Prime was initially launched, the drink was shipped in from the US. However, suppliers were unable to meet the chaotic demand. Due to the demand, Prime is now manufactured by Refreshco, a Dutch beverage company that is known for working with Old Jamaica and Calypso in the UK. This was done to help ease the flow of product in the UK, but since demand is still high, it's tailoring its deliveries to spread supply more evenly to ensure that every outlet can be stocked of at least three or six different flavors at one time. However, it's still basically impossible to get hold of. So what's happening? Why is there a shortage when everyone involved with the brand says that they're supplying enough? Oh, it's always sold out, man. Oh, right. No, honestly, people are just selling on the black market. Mm. There's legit, oh. I shit you not, the only place you're gonna get Prime is Asda and Arsenal Stadium. But people are getting on petrol stations. How? You know how? As the employees aren't even fucking putting it on the shelves anymore. Oh, they're like, they're they're shipping, well, them out low shipping key. it out low key. They're like, what's the point? I put it on the shelf, it's gone instantly. It turns out the same as the drug industry, Prime has developed a black market with absolute criminals. Due to the shortage, people are bulk buying the drink in order to sell it on, with some bottles going for as much as 10 grand on eBay. This is no longer just little Dell boys in your school making racks selling stolen goods from Tesco's Express. They've become Alan Sugars. Like the drug industry, there seems to be an average price on the black market for Prime, ranging between 5 to 15 pounds. Boss men up and down the UK have been making racks. 21-year-old shopkeeper Amir Khan stated in an interview with The Independent that nobody has complained about the price. One person asked me to put it behind the counter and paid 15 pound for it. Customers are only allowed to buy two drinks per visit due to its popularity. Some people online have even claimed that the Asda staff are the ones who are making the stock dry up, but Asda workers have left their thoughts on the whole ordeal. One online commenter stated, As I work in Asda, I can agree with this. My managers took out five each and I've never seen it been put out as I work night shifts, but it's mental how many people ask me if we have Prime and I've always got to say, nah, but it's crazy. Another online commenter stated, as an Asda night shift worker, I've only seen Prime come into my store once. Two cases of 12 came in and sold out on that day. It hasn't come into the store again since. I think one of the main problems is that there's a lot of stores that just aren't getting the stock in the first place. The whole fiasco has got so crazy that there is now even a Twitter account called Prime Tracker that was set up to help fans find locations and available bottles around the UK. With this help, kids have been getting up before Asda even opens at 6am to get their hands on it. I think these scenes of kids fighting over Prime is a real example of how influential JJ and Logan really are. In August 2022, it was reported that Prime Hydration made $37.6 million in retail sales for the last 52-week period, making it the sixth largest brand in the sports drink category. And in the four-week period ending in September 4th, Prime sold an additional $8.3 million, as well as making another $9.5 million in September. According to Prime, they have already passed 100 million bottles sold, which is absolutely bonkers. KSI and Logan Paul have this generation in a chokehold. Their rise in influence is incredible to sit back and watch. Many, many YouTubers sell merchandise, but not many make a product. KSI stated on a podcast that he was offered $10 million to start a podcast. Although the $10 million offer was attractive, he turned it down. I think this is a perfect example of why the tide is changing with YouTubers. I feel if you were to ask any YouTuber five years ago whether they would take that $10 million, they'd take it in a heartbeat. But KSI is not any YouTuber. He, along with Logan Paul and Mr. Beast, will be the first self-made YouTube billionaires. Prime is truly a reflection of two guys in their prime 
and a story of redemption that concludes with the message that no matter how far you fall, your prime is yet to come. And I want to say one day that uh, KSI saved my career, but I made him a billionaire. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you so much for watching this video and your support over the last video. It's just insane. The amount of this community is growing, I fucking love it. It really does mean a lot to me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Fat Mima. Like, subscribe, and comment below what you want to see next.